Now once again I'm painting on this layer which is underneath Pat's layer. And we're going to go back to the Pat color, grab a paintbrush, grab the Pat color, and we're painting underneath Pat so we can feel quite free to paint outside the lines. But now what I'm going to do is use some of these other colors like this more sunny okay just gonna start glopping them on in places where the sun might hit I can make this smaller and I can use this palette knife anyway I'm just working this in I like a little bit of randomness. And I think that's what keeps the painting alive. So the underside, the top side will have more of that yellowish look. I'm going to sample some of that green. If you hit the Option key, Mac, it will choose the color picker. And the number one key is the paintbrush. All right, so I just want to put a couple samples of green there. And again, use a palette knife, rub those in. And then maybe I want something, again, that's more bluish. A little hint of purple underneath. Something that's a little bit darker, perhaps. Something that's a little... A saturated perhaps and then take a palette knife and move it around and all of a sudden you know there's some vibrancy and some life in here same thing on the bottom side of the keys got a big gut so uh, the shadows can be, you know, more more darker and just little drops sometimes is all you need. And then again, pick up that palette knife and just kind of swoosh it around. So, you know, that little bit of purple there is kind of cool looking, so I think I'm probably going to leave that there. And there is an eraser. I'm going to get in there and get some of that out of there. I don't mind if it bleeds over a little bit. I think it's kind of cool. So, for example, right there is some some of that bleed. I'm going to use the eraser. I could get some of it, but I don't really want to get all of it. So I'm going to leave a little bit hanging over. 